BMW models with MSD80 DME software may set default codes 30BA or 30BB. These fault codes set when fuel injectors on bank 1 or bank 2 develop circuit faults or an injector MOSFET driver fails. Most times these fault codes will be permanent and will not clear. However, there are situations when the fault codes will set intermittently. Keep that in mind when diagnosing. When diagnosing fuel injector fault codes, it's a good idea to begin by checking fuel injector voltage and current using a scope. This can help to narrow down the cause of the fault code, possibly the injector, circuit, or DME driver. Begin by removing the cabin microfilter housing and the engine cover. Locate the injector wiring harness for the fuel injector you want to test. Our subject vehicle has a code for injectors 4, 5, and 6. Before testing injectors 4, 5, and 6, we will start by checking the signal at injector 2 to confirm a possible good pattern. Set your scope to display voltage and current at the same time. Set the voltage range to negative 200 volts DC to positive 200 volts DC. Our current range is set to minus 10 amps to positive 10 amps. Current ranges will vary depending on your low current probe and scope. Set your scope accordingly to display a range of 0 to 10 amps. Start engine and allow it to idle. Be sure the exhaust is properly vented. Beginning on injector 2, to establish a possible known good pattern, insert a back probe into the white wire, then attach your current probe around the same wire. Confirm connection points using a wiring diagram for the vehicle you're working on. The pattern shown is a good injector and DME MOSFET driver. Voltage should range from 0 volts to almost 160 volts DC. The current pattern will peak around 8 amps when the injector is switched on. Current will drop when the injector is open, then reverse polarity when the injector is switched off. Current reverses polarity because the piezo element acts as a capacitor and when switched off, the voltage travels back through the injector crystal. Next, we're connecting to injector 4. The scope pattern shown is a bad injector or DME. Most times when the DME is at fault, the current pattern will try to climb but fail. The MOSFET driver fails when the attempt to charge the injector begins. Turn the engine off and cycle the key. Remove the key from the vehicle. Disconnect all fuel injector electrical connectors. Turn the key on with the engine off. Using your Assist Plus device, clear DME fault codes. If the fault code will not clear and returns immediately, the issue is most likely in the injector wiring or the DME. On our subject vehicle, the fault code will not clear. Leave the fuel injectors disconnected for the next test. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. Working on the right side of the engine compartment at the E-box, slide both locking fasteners. Pull up on the E-box locking tabs. Remove the E-box cover. Disconnect the DME electrical connectors by sliding the lock away from the connector and lifting up. Repeat for both connectors. Find a suitable wiring diagram for the DME. Check the integrity of each wire from the DME to each fuel injector. Make sure to also verify each pin has good pin tension. The best way to check wire integrity is to voltage drop test the wire under load. With our meter set to ohms, insert the positive test lead into the injector wire to be tested. Then use the negative lead to confirm the location of the terminal at the DME connector. Be sure to use specialized test adapters as to prevent damage to the DME terminals. With the wire to be tested identified, connect the injector side of the wiring harness to battery negative. Then, at the DME, connect an incandescent test light, our load, to the injector terminal to be tested. Then, connect it to battery positive. In this case, we are connecting at the jump start positive terminal. The test light should illuminate. Next, with your DVOM set to DC volts, check battery voltage at the jump start terminal. We have 12.44 volts DC. Next, check the voltage at the DME connection. This reading will be your voltage drop. We have 0.11 volts DC. This is a good reading. 
we want to see no more than two tenths of a volt drop. This confirms the injector wire to the DME is good. Repeat this test for each leg of each injector, two wires per injector. Since the fault code 30BB does not clear even when disconnecting all injectors and the injector wire tests okay, the issue has been isolated to the DME. Next, we can test the internal MOSFET driver to confirm the DME is faulty. Place an anti-static mat on your work surface. Next, remove the DME from the e-box and place it on the anti-static mat. Be sure to wear an anti-static wristband. Using a flat blade screwdriver, pry away the metal tabs on the DME cover and remove it. On the right side of the circuit board, you'll find six MOSFET drivers. These are responsible for fuel injector activation. Each injector has a single MOSFET driver. MOSFET drivers are used due to the low input current needed to control each injector. Set your DVOM to check resistance, or ohms. Connect the negative lead of your DVOM to the drain. Then, connect the red lead of your DVOM to the gate, and then the source. The DVOM should show no continuity and shouldn't beep. On our subject vehicle, the MOSFET has continuity between the drain and source all the time. Our subject vehicle has a faulty MOSFET driver at injector 4. DME replacement is needed to repair this MOSFET driver.